All right. Hello, guys. Today I am going to be playing with the exports or the uh, the driving for dollars I just did yesterday. I'm going to grab those leads uh, from Batch Driven, and we'll make sure that you guys are seeing my screen. Let's just kind of go back here. So now we're in Batch Driven on our desktop, or at least I am here, and we are going to. Uh, try to figure out, you know, what uh, what properties we looked at. So here I can see we've got uh, Dave had driven some properties here. I'll zoom out. So there was a driving uh, activity he did, and here's one I did. Uh, again, mine was just kind of playing around, and that's again what I'm doing today, trying to figure out uh, where we go next. I know there's a lot of options that uh, I'm going to be trying to explore today here in Batch Driven. Uh, if you guys want to play around with it yourself for your Driving for Dollars campaigns, please check out the um, the link that I've got below. It gives you, I believe it's 50% off. Um, I think it's the first month, something like that. Again, you get a good discount there. So click the link below, check out Batch Driven. Uh, let them know that, uh, that Mike and Dave sent you over there. Uh, okay, so looking at this trip, I'm in Overland, and I want to grab all those properties. Um, well, first, let's just talk about what skip tracing is. So, uh, or I'm sorry, what driving for dollars is. So we went out, we drove these properties, we found some that we thought were vacant, and now I want to um, export them or contact those owners. This is the most important part. Again, anybody can go drive around and look at properties, um, but again, if you don't get a hold of those owners, it's not really that valuable. These lists can be extremely valuable because you can't go and buy this list from someone else. This is a list that you created. Uh, so again, very, very valuable stuff. You're looking at the properties real time. It's awesome. All right, so I've got 15 properties on my list here um, that I found. And uh, my next step is, again, it used to be I'd write all these things down and then I would go and look them up in the county records and try to find out who owned it and then I would skip trace that person and then I would try to mail them a letter uh, and then I'd wait for them to call. So now what we try to do is uh, drive for dollars then we basically we have that person we can skip trace them I believe right here in batch uh, call and text them right here from batch as well. So again the idea is just get a hold of these owners as quickly as possible, find out if they're interested in selling, and go from there. So let's get started. Uh, so again, I said here I've just got a little sample of 15 properties. Should make for a good little uh, video here today. Um, so let's take a look. We've got properties tab up here, and it looks like here. Let's just hit refresh. I have a habit of doing that. All right, so we've got all our properties up here and we can flick through them you see they are all still listed as new looks like even these ones down here from Dave's Drive in Chesterfield yeah see that was his list was called Chesterfield my list was called 63114 vacants and if I click anywhere I guess on that it just pops them. that is not the correct property 63114 oh that could be their address maybe no, that's kind of weird. But anyway, so these are the properties we have. All right, so select properties, uh, select all or select visible. And it doesn't look like that's working because the visible one should only be, well, I believe in this list here. Uh, so let's go ahead and filter that down. Deal status, new. Team members, here we go. Team members, Mike. Apply. Okay, so let's see what that did. Select all, there we go. So now we've got mine, and we just did that by doing a filter. And that filter came up, how do we find that again? I don't know how it popped up, but we did it. Now I'll have to watch the video. All right, so we've got all those. I'm gonna select all those. And then it gives me the option to do something with them. So let's see our action. I want to 
skip trace all these. Got credits available. You're about to skip trace 15 records. Alright, let's do it. Skip trace, I'm not sure what all that means. So it says updated properties. So I believe that pulled all of my info for these guys. I should have looked at them before. Well, here, this one it doesn't have a phone number or anything yet. So again, I'm just going to give it a minute. I'm probably going to hit refresh here and see if it's able to pull. Yeah, because we're still not getting any contacts yet. So if we're skip tracing these, we should have some information, a little bit more info about them. Let's see. Let's get ahead and hit refresh again. Again, I'm a big fan of that. I know batches, um, they've been around for a while, but the batch driven platform is newer. So just give them a little bit of a break as they're building this out for us. All right, let's look at this Richard again. Still nothing. Let's uh, let's be impatient. Let's get, skip trace and see if it pulls up anything real time. Look at that. So it fetched the contact info for him. I must not have done something correctly when I was looking at that. So let's select properties, select all. I want to try that filter again. How did I do that? Was it this? Nope. That's a help ticket. There's filter. All right. So filter by. Let's just pull up mics. I don't want to mess with Dave's stuff. Apply that filter. Okay. So now unselect all. Let's filter again. All deals. Just mic. Apply. Oh, it had the folders too, didn't it? Uh, folder types. Yeah, so 63114 vacants and apply. And that should just give me the 15 again as well. Can't get it to work. Oh well, so here is something, or I can't get it to perform like I'm wanting it to. So here's something that is very important as well. Progress over perfection. I've got this person's contact info now because we skip traced him. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, send him a text message or give him a call. So let's try that. You need to purchase a phone number. All right. Select an area code, 314. It's local here. Let's look for one that looks good. Repeating numbers we like. Purchase. Call forward none. All right. So there's we're in phone manager now. Let's go back out of phone manager. Oh, well, hopefully this doesn't mess it up. Okay, so now I want to send him a text. Campaign name. New SMS campaign. All right, so it'll be vacant property. All right, enter description. So this will be my setting of vacant property SMS campaign in batch driven. Put the date on here. 2011. Yeah, we'll do it in normal format. October. Oh, October. November 2020. We're already there. All right. Template. I love it when we have templates. You don't have any templates now, but you can create one. All right. Add a message. Day zero. We're going here. Let me move my face on here to make sure you guys can see everything that we're working on right now. Okay, so now we're looking at, and I'm looking the wrong way. Let's move that over here and move this over here. And now I, yeah, now it looks like I'm looking at the same thing you guys are. Cool. 
Okay, so on here we are uh, template name, driving for dollars. So just call it Mike Vacant D for D campaign. All right, day zero, we're going to say hello, owner. That's day one. Let's add a message. Okay, so then here's on day. This is like a follow-up one. Day five. Let's send another one. I'm gonna copy and paste that. Let's see if that works for them. Looks like it did. And I'm gonna change that and say the owner. Well, let's just redo it. Also, it does it right. Say hey. This is your neighbor. Again, your neighbor, and we'll put my name. Again. So that is all we've got. Let's do that. So start date, okay. Like setting up vacant SMS. Campaign in batch driven. Alright, save campaign. Let's do it. You haven't skip traced one property yet. Would you like to skip trace them and continue? Continue. Which property did I not skip trace? We skip traced him. Well, we skip traced them guys come on all right well let's select these guys and add them all to the campaign now this is going to be even easier we're going to get all of these guys texting them all today all right and that's what's so powerful about technology okay so now i want to add these guys so start sms campaign added Okay, so now let's look at our campaigns. Boom, look at this. We're texting people. Hello, Richard Klein. Are you the owner? Yeah, boom. Look at that. We're sending out text messages. We did it somehow. Uh, let's see. Refresh. Okay, so here, this should be the campaign one, I believe, and it's not popping up with, there it is, campaigns. Uh, so we've got SMS, vacant property, Mike set this one up, I need to add properties to it. Yeah, so here we go, let's add all of... Mike Slane's over here. Apply. And I can't get him to add. What am I doing wrong? That is the question that I have today. What am I doing wrong? I want to select. Okay, I think I figured out what's going on is they want you to, in batch, the whole idea is that you're doing this to multiple people, not just one. So let's do, we already got Richard currently marketing, and that flag changed. I don't think I did that. So I'm going to select all the rest of them here when I looked at my property. So I go into properties, I want to select all these, and our objective here is to get texts uh, out the door to every one of these, and hopefully those persons reply. There's 
Yeah, a couple of really good ones here. I really would like to hear back. Oh. Shoot, lost him. Alright, select these guys again. Already marketing. We don't need to hit him again. Let's get all of these. And there's going to be a better way to do this, but I just want to get it done today. That is always my objective. Get marketing moving. Alright, so we've got all those. And now we're going to go to our action again. We're going to start SMS. So here we go. Now, we need to have a new campaign, I believe, for this uh, because I just, I did I did it wrong. So let's do it again. So new camp, campaign name would be, I'll just call it uh, November 20th outbound. All right. So this would be Mike's. Uh, November 11th drive and correct the date up there all right so we're adding 16 properties start date we have to select okay and now we're gonna say save campaign you haven't skip trace them yet yes skip trace them this is what's so powerful about all this it's all done in this software and look it is thinking so we'll give it a minute I think we got it this time hoo Awesome, awesome, awesome campaign added. So now we look at the campaigns. Yeah, so that's just, it, it just added these properties to that one this time, perfect. So then we can see our messages and these things, boom, they're shooting out, this is awesome. We just text all of these people, every single one of them. Excellent, okay, so now I wanna see if any inbound messages come in. And I'm going to keep this open for a while uh, to do that, and I'm going to check it again uh, later today. So, all right, guys, that was it. Very exciting. Um, I mean, pretty simple. I, I drove for about 10 minutes yesterday, and then this video is maybe another 10 minutes, and we've reached out to uh, about 10 people. So, very, very cool stuff. Uh, if you're looking to uh, try some driving for dollars in your business, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out Batch Driven. Uh, it just it, it does make the process a little bit easier once you get it uh, figured out. So look at this. We've got all these that are sent out. And see, I should have included these. I'm going to hit those next. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Check the link below. Uh, get a discount if you want to try out the software for yourself. All right. Look at this. Uh, just in the time I was uh, saving those videos, I've already got some responses. So one of them here, so it's not the best A's, whatever. So whatever, I'll send him my address. Say, uh, Interested in selling that one? Perfect. All right, so we replied. Probably gave a little too much attitude. So this one says no, it's the wrong person. Okay, so let's mark this campaign. Uh, so when they reply, I guess I want to make sure it opts them out or something. So how do we do that? Click on the house. Skip trace, holy smokes, look at all those phone numbers. Campaigns, let's go ahead and stop all. And go back. And it says, no, you have the wrong person. So we'll just say, sorry. So sorry, looks like that got sent to him. This one says, you interested that one? No, cool, this guy's just kind of trolling. So let's go ahead and we'll opt, oh, not that one. We'll opt this guy out. So 
actually right on. Wood cell. Alright. And that you are interested in selling. Alright, so we'll keep playing for a little bit with him. And it says, Hi Kimberly, are you the owner of Wallace? This is your neighbor Rick saying, sorry, I do not know you. one just says no Max are you the owner of this one it says no all right so let's look at this oh we got two on these okay so let's go ahead we'll opt him out again or stop the marketing to him okay this one Max I think we just did it on one let's make sure we do it on both stop all there we go, so he won't get the follow-up. I'm hitting back, I need to hit this refresh when I do that. Sweet. Okay, we need to mark. I don't know, maybe 2612 is the one I need to stop to. Oh, looks good. Why is it not? Perfect. Then Kimberly was very nice. Said not right now, but thank you for the inquiry. Say no problem. And Kimberly is very nice. Okay, so we are going to take Kimberly, and I'm actually going to stick her in my other. Uh, CRM that we just started using for long-term follow-up uh, because again she's a candidate somebody that is receptive to um, again we reached out again she's not interested in selling today but she might be so I am going to follow up ownership like 22 years I mean she's right for um, you know selling at some point so activity and notes, let's add a note in here because Batch is trying to uh, build out this, you know, they've got a, kind of an integrated CRM back here. Uh, not, not a full robust CRM, but it's definitely coming along. Uh, so let's say um, text Kimberly, nice, adding her to long term follow up in REI touch. All right, so I added that note. So then let's take Kimberly over here in REI Touch. Oh geez, I haven't even talked about that yet. Uh, that is for another video. So I'm gonna end this one today. Just say that I really liked using Batch. It's pretty fun, pretty easy. Got a lot of responses right away. And again, you see a lot of no's. That's all right. That's why we've got to do numbers. We've got to get through about 50, 100 of these before we find somebody who is receptive and possibly interested in selling. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, check out Batch if you're interested in doing some driving for dollars and marketing for your own wholesale or rental or any real estate marketing. Thanks, guys.